you have to do this and you that, you will have to apply for the loan. It can be consistently loan. In the Asian development bank, we call it, we call it uh, Asian Development Fund based loan, where uh, all of the development, we call it IDA, International Development Fund. And uh, they are very, uh, you know, uh, the interest rates are quite consistently high. Like, for instance, in India, the Asian Development Fund, if it is a loan, we are talking of up to about one. Uh, one percent interest uh, for a period of 40 years, so it will be a period, and 10 years away, and that's a kind of service uh, and condition for the world. And some countries get a 10 year grant, 10 year grant market. Now, Sri Lanka doesn't get 10 year grant because Sri Lanka is rich enough uh, to have 10 year. So, even 10 year growth, in fact, if you look at the total uh, Asian ADB growth, uh, rather, assistance to Sri Lanka per year. Only 25% comes under the ATS and everything else will come under the physical commercial. So we are, we are considered to be rich enough to uh, pay back our loan. Uh, if you take Nepal, Nepal until last year, it was an ABS grant company, 100%. So, Asian Development Bank is give uh, Nepal about uh, 250 million a year, and all those money come as a grant, you don't have to pay it back at the same time. And from this year, they changed the date to 50 So, out of 290, this year it is 300 million dollars total. So, 150 million goes to Nepal as a grant, and you will have to pay it back. And the other 150 goes as concessionary loans to Nepal at 0.1% interest rate for the year. And then we have commercial window. I shouldn't say commercial, it's not really commercial, but commercial life. All the ordinary coming out of particular ordinary capital uh, uh, and there are uh, live glass, uh, you know, and but like, still that's more yeah, rapid than uh, digital commercial loan. And roughly it will again loan repayment can be as uh, long as about 25 years and uh, maybe five to ten years wait to get. And but the interest rates are really uh, two or five percent that live glass comes from there. Yeah. In fact, the recent uh, power sector loan which we approved for Sri Lanka in uh, March was uh, up to about uh, $196 million, out of which uh, 25, about $30 million came from ATM uh, loan, a uh, concession with loan. And the rest around those years, uh, loan that uh, slide goes up, interest rate and uh, interest rate. Now, those loans go to government or the government loan. Usually, even if it goes down and it goes negative, it goes through the ground. So we have a loan agreement with the ground, and the government will have a subsidiary loan agreement with the railroad agencies. But in most cases, the subsidiary loan agreement with the agencies will not carry the same kind of transaction. For instance, if you take Sri Lanka again, the loan to the government, they have a particular interest rate. Even if it is concessionary, it is passed by the government to the CEC. So at say uh, 13 percent uh, interest, if I can say the right, somewhere in that. That seems to be that. The government will have to take the exchange rate, right? But uh, usually the receiver uh, agency at the end will get an interest rate difference. Now, the Nepal, unfortunately, by day, I mean, standard day, it's 3 percent grant, and we take 2 percent growth. And even that is 0.1 percent interest. But that is passed to the law, passed to the elected authority by the government has five percent interest rate. Of course, the government will have to take the exchange rate right? because the uh, agency will take the loan in the uh, year. But, this, but, but if you look at it, all the legislation is virtually nothing because it is back to uh, Indian rupees and it's quite a stable card. So five percent interest rate is quite high interest rate. But that's how it goes. But the only thing what we dictate in the loan agreement is that they are they should be just a condition that the situation will happen back at the and then we have non covering loan. That is, in the private sector company or an institution can approach ADB for the loan. And they are typically commercial rates. But again, if the, the company standing is uh, good, uh, the terms may be more attractive than what you can get in the uh, Therefore, non covering or private sector loan. And in fact, even if you have non institutions uh, doing very well, ADB may decide that the 
and you may have a small school change to predict and, 